The story begins with a prince, Conrad, who is crushed to death by a mysterious gigantic helmet the day of his marriage with Princess Isabella. A peasant points out that the helmet looks like a large-scale version of the helmet of Prince Alfonso's statue. Manfred, Conrad's father, accuses him of witchcraft and murdering his son, so he imprisons the peasant under the helmet. Later that day, Manfred meets with Isabella and tells her he wants to divorce his wife Hippolyta and marry Isabella to have strong male heirs. At hearing this, Isabella runs. She is able to escape from him through a trapdoor on the basement, and with the help of the peasant, who we discover is called Theodore. While she runs away, Manfred catches the peasant. Suddenly, two servants appear, scared, saying they saw the legs and the foot of a giant in a chamber. They all go and see it, but they find the chamber empty. Matilda, Manfred's daughter, is in her room, wondering why Isabella ran away. She hears a voice coming from a window below, and starts talking with him. When the voice asks about the lady that fled, Matilda closes her window. Father Jerome goes to the castle and demands to speak with Manfred to tell him that Isabella doesn't want to be part of Manfred's family anymore. Jerome also tells him he will not accept Manfred's divorce with Hippolyta and marriage with Isabella. Manfred, thinking Theodore is Isabella's lover, questions him and decides to execute him. While Theodore is getting ready to be beheaded, Father Jerome sees his birthmark and discovers the peasant is, in fact, his son. Thanks to his pleas, he saves Theodore from being executed, but only in exchange of helping Manfred get Isabella. A group of knights arrive at the castle in order to bring Isabella back to her father, Frederick, and to take the castle over Tranto for their lord. Meanwhile, Father Jerome returns to the convent searching for Isabella, but he discovers he has fled again. He and other friars go to the castle to tell Manfred Isabella has run away. At hearing this, the knights and Manfred's men run to find her. Since everyone is out looking for Isabella, Matilda helps Theodore escape from the castle. Before leaving, Theodore promises to come back as a knight worthy of being with her. Accidentally, he discovers Isabella in a cave and promises to protect her as he did before. One of the knights comes to the cave and engages in a duel with Theodore. When the knight becomes gravely injured, he reveals he is Isabella's father. When they arrive at the castle, they meet with Matilda and Hippolyta. A doctor takes Frederick to help him and later informs everyone he will survive. They all go to see Frederick, and he tells them of a dream he had, telling him his daughter was in danger. He also shows the writing on the sword that they brought to the castle. Manfred and Father Jerome arrive to the room. At first, Manfred looks afraid, because he believes he is seeing Alfonso's ghost before him, when in reality, it's only Theodore in an armor. When Frederick and Manfred are left alone, Manfred convinces Frederick to marry his daughter Matilda, and, with the condition that Hippolyta will accept his divorce, Frederick gives his permission for Manfred to marry Isabella. Hippolyta goes to the sanctuary to tell Father Jerome that she needs his advice about divorcing Manfred. At this time, Manfred appears and he sees Father Jerome trying to convince Hippolyta against it. When Manfred tells them that Frederick has accepted the double marriage, three drops of blood fall from Alfonso's statue. Manfred still worries about Isabel's relationship with the other, so he asks a servant. While she tries to go and find this information, she sees a gigantic hand. Frederick sees this as a sign and tells Manfred to forget marrying Isabella. Frederick goes to the sanctuary in search of Hippolyta, but instead of her, he sees a ghost that tells him to forget about Matilda. Later that day, Matilda and Theodore meet in a church, but Manfred, thinking he is meeting with Isabella, storms in, stabs Matilda, killing his last child. They take her dying body back to the castle to say goodbye to her mother. A clap of thunder booms, and as soon as Theodore appears, the castle walls crumble, and the giant ghost of Alfonso appears, revealing that Theodore is the rightful heir of the castle of Retranto.